Gameiverse. Hello everyone, and welcome to Encodia. So this was a game developed by Chaos Monger Studio and published by Assemble Entertainment. To my knowledge, I believe it was actually a Kickstarter originally that did get funded. And this is like, it's a point and click sci-fi adventure game, right? Now, I don't have a lot of experience with point and click games. Of course, I have played some in the past. I think everyone has played at least one point and click adventure at some point in their lives. And this sort of tells the story of how, how basically a girl named Tina and her robot Sam just get by living in uh, Neo-Berlin in 2062. This is sort of like a dystopia sort of take on things. Cyberspace is being used to control people. And I haven't really gone too far into it, so I don't know the extent of what's happening. But essentially, you're just trying to get by just just life on the street as this girl and her robot. So we're gonna continue right where I left off. And so th this has a lot of the things you expect from point and clicks, like it's obviously you wanna collect some items, you might combine some items together to do things. And to start off, we have a list of things that we have to get. So we're essentially trying to just get the things that we need to get by for another day. So we're looking for edible food, uh, a patch for our shelter's canopy, so it's like you don't get rain in there. Robot oil for good old Sam right here, whose job it is to take care of Tina. Uh, apparently in this world, every child gets equipped with their very own robot, so that you- Now you could just let orphans go out on the street, you, you can feel no guilt at all. <laughs> and then finally, a pair of socks. So we're looking for the essentials here. And, uh, I- so far I've gotten, like, none of those things. I mean, I've collected quite- quite a few things, uh, but nothing I can really use yet, so let's go talk to this electrician. What is he- let's see what he has to say. Hello? Yes. Oh, God. You- you're looking worse for wear, friend. What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Nice guy. Seriously, what are you doing? Really nice guy. Fun of me. I'm Lixi, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this streetlight so they can show Mr. Rumpf propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really, but can't complain. <laughs> I get just enough to get a bowl of ramen once in a while. <laughs> was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Too many robots, robots get fried. Totally nuts if they get electrocuted. Yeah. So it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Real, real nice guy right there. And I did take a look at him before. An electrician with a pair of keys hanging from his pocket. And now I don't know why I need the keys, but I would assume I need to just somehow reach up and grab them. And I and a thought occurred to me because I, in my time of playing this game, I was just combining random items before, and I tried to combine the stick and the antenna piece, and I just needed duct tape to get them together. Now I have duct tape, so I'm assuming I can put these two together and really just get the keys. Look at that. There we go. Hey! We now have the long stick, and we're gonna get those keys. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for the keys, electrician. Now what will you do? Uh, I guess we're just gonna go in this abandoned store over here. That guy, you know, this cyber junkie over there, you know, he's, uh, he's hanging out, he's chilling, he's relaxing. I will say- this automatic door is broken. It won't open. Oh, well, okay, I, I guess, you know what, I guess we're not going in there. Okay, let's go back this way then. I don't know what we can use these keys for, probably for something. And I will say, uh, this game, initially, I was like, oh, this seems really cool. Um. It did not set a good impression initially, because the very first NPC I talked to was terribly voice acted. I don't know if that was like a Kickstarter like reward or something, but I was like, oh god, I was I was worried after that, but like since then it's been okay. Um but <laughs> I mean we'll see going forward if uh That's a robotic cat. Look at him. Oh I can't walk into this puddle. I was- I just- I was- just, I wanted to look at the robot cat. I didn't- I didn't want you to walk through the puddle. I don't think it's safe to walk there. Oh really? What gave you that impression? Oh, okay. Is there anything I can use to walk across the puddle? I don't think I have- 
a cockroach in a jar, it can maybe, like, have him get electrocuted on the puddle. I don't think that accomplishes anything, but it would be pretty funny. Can I use my long stick on the wire? No, I can't. Uh, well, can I use the, the pipe junction on the wire? Not the right thing to do. Okay, I truly don't know how to get past here. I, maybe I just can't. And he can't go through electricity, or can he? Can, can you just walk through electricity? I don't think he can, because it's supposed to make him crazy. Yep. We can't walk over there. That puddle is Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, maybe we can't do anything here yet, then. Alright, well, you're gonna see very quickly that uh, my inexperience when it comes to uh, point-click adventures. But luckily, I am playing on easy, because it was easier or hard, the difference being on hard, you get no hints, no anything. On easy, I can ask my good friend here for hints, and then also, if uh, I go onto a map, I can press space, and if there's any collectible things, they'll like, just give it like a very like, kind of, it's, it's slightly discerning highlight, so it's like, hey, there's a thing you could pick up here. Because, uh, like I said, not a clue what I'm doing. So, here we go. I guess I'm going to just figure out how to do stuff. I have an idea how to do one thing. Can I... I need a... A token. Can I... I, I don't suppose I could use keys. Like, the, I don't suppose the electrician keys get in there. You can't open that with the... Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I was supposed to get the electrician keys for something. I, I truly do not know what I'm supposed to do with them. Oh, maybe it's to this. How about this? Ooh. I can't open that. Nope. All right. Well, darn. I've already talked to this guy before. He, I basically like. I need to get him an adapter to give him RAM so that he can get me some oil from my robot friend here, which is one of the things I need to collect for the day. So I'm kind of at a loss here. I feel like I must be able to get in here somewhere. Okay, there's a fuse box here. Like this. I think this is the next logical thing. Seems broken. Maybe. Oh, I have a capacitor. Is that good? Hmm. No. Nope. <laughs> Damn. I've tried everything. It controls the door. It should work with a new fuse. A new fuse, huh? Uh, I. How? Okay, I do not have a fuse. Can I make a fuse? Hello. Yes. Electrical panel? Well, definitely. It's my job, but I'm busy now. Fine. Can you tell me how to do it? Oh, you're too young for that. Anyway, it depends on the issue. Very often, all you need to do is change a fuse. Do you have a spare one for me? Not really. So maybe you can tell me where I can find one? Oh, many shops sell them. But I don't have any money. Then I don't know how to help you. What if I get a fuse from another box? Sure, but the boxes around the city are locked. And you have the keys? <laughs> of course. It's my job. I've them right here, hung on my belt. This conversation's getting boring. Good thing he didn't check his belt. Keys. Of course not. I don't want to risk jail. Whatever. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Okay. Well, that actually told me everything I needed to know. I need to find another fuse box, take the fuse from said box, and then put it in that box. Alright, well now the question becomes, uh, where can I find a fuse box? Wait a second. Could I open the box that had the electrical wires coming out from it? Was that a thing? Perhaps that's the answer I'm looking for. That solves two problems with one go right there. I can't highlight the fuse box. Or the box, I guess. I'll look, I can look at the wires and I can look at the electrified puddle, but I can't actually do anything with the box. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't do that one. All right, well, then there must be another box elsewhere that I can open. Yeah, so if, if you hadn't guessed already, there's going to be a lot of a lot of times where I just have no clue what I'm doing. And uh, this is about what I expected. I'm going to talk to this guy again. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Here we go. There's just something. Do you have a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? No, sorry, I'm out of stock. A friend of mine always buys tons of those. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Do you know where I can find a token for the elevator? What for? Well, I want to see what's on the terrace. Been there a few times. Nothing interesting. You must have had a lot of tokens then. Uh, not really. 
I just have one, but it's rigged, so I can use it multiple times. Cool. Can you let me use it once then? Uh, I don't know. Please, kid, I've been trapped here forever. Two secret words? This is not a riddle, this is finding show secret, you secret words. secret words that hackers have hidden around Neo Berlin. Cool. Where should I look? The first word is hidden on a big door. The second one is disguised by a foreign language. Um, uh, okay. See ya. Okay, well I guess this is my new task then, because I, I don't- I shouldn't require any extra things to do this. Alright. So I immediately know where the first one is. 100% immediately know where the first one is. We're just gonna- we're going to um, just just run. We're just gonna run directly. There's anything in here? I think I already got the thing from here. Yep. All right. So, hundred percent. First one is right here. Hundred hundred million percent right here. And we just use use this on this. Look at that. Yes. Got one. All right. Sky, and then on a on a big door. That one is going to be a, a bit more difficult. Okay, so I think I just need to find the second thing. So I have access to the terrace, and then that might give me a breakthrough on things that I need to progress a bit further here. I have no idea where this big door is. Because it has to be a thing I can actually, like, interact with. Like, I would hover it, and then it would, like, say something. Because it's the only things I can actually use the prisma. So that already like, kind of narrows down what I can use it for. The question just is, where can I find said things? Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes? Oh, maybe this guy has it. Do you have by any chance a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? Of course I do. I keep hundreds of items within the pockets of my jacket. Awesome. Also, this was the guy I was mentioning. Sure. It's 79 Neo Berlin credits. But since I like you, I sell it to you for 59 credits. I don't have any money. Is there something I can barter with? Um, maybe I can trade it for a capacitor. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you can even find capacitors on the ground. But I don't want to leave that. So if you could get one for me. Okay. And if I find it, and it Yes. Good. This is the guy I was mentioning before. This is like the first NPC you talk to, and I talk to him, and I'm like, oh, that is not great voice acting. It was, it was like comedically bad. So I don't know if this is like a Kickstarter person doing a voice, like as a reward or something, but ugh, it was not, it, it did not set a great first impression. But but since then, it's been a little bit better. But here you go. So this, this is what I needed then, right here. Yes? I found one. Here, take it. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Very good. Nice dealing with you. My pleasure. You too. So, does he have anything else while I'm here? Just, just to make sure. Okay, now it doesn't look like he does. All right. So, I think from here. Okay, so now I can go back actually, to uh, I guess this would be the faster area. And now I have the adapter for this robot that I was talking to earlier, a bit off camera, like when I was still, you know, just kind of getting a general feel for everything. And uh, so now I give this to you, and now I can get robot oil. There we go. I guess this. I forgot. Gotta do it with this. There we go. There we go. Here is the 288 and 184 pins adapter. That's nothing. You know, I do some no, things as certain well, characters in this I game. Say thank you, because I won't. But I guess I owe you one. Follow me. Like, sometimes, like, the robot can only do things, or the girl can only do things. This is a case where the robot has to specifically talk to this guy, because the girl can't. Thank you. And there we go. Alright, we're even now. Hope you won't bother me. Alright, so we have... We have the oil. That doesn't... Totally help me? Because, I mean, that's one of the things I need for the this day. But, I'm also still stuck on the fact that, like, I don't know, uh, what to do next for the other things. I'm still unsure as to what that big door is that was mentioned pre previously. Like, I found one of the secret things right there. That was, that was, that was, that was fine. We, we did that easy. 
the hidden on a big door. I don't recall any big doors. Oh, there we go. Okay, blue. Great. Blue sky. That's the that's the thing. That's that's all right. That's how we get to the terrace. I could not, for the life of me, find that. Hi there. Hey, kid. You got your code. So yes. Let me on the terrace. It's nice. Blue sky. Yes. Congratulations. There we go. Thanks. A You're welcome. What's same here? Maybe, but not before you turn at least ten. Goodbye. All right. It's terrace time finally. I was I could not. Could not figure it out. It was like it has to be somewhere. <laughs> I clicked on everything. All right. So there's probably gonna be something up here. This is a fun elevator ride. <laughs> we don't even get we don't even get complimentary elevator music that we could go like just like da 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 da. No, no, none of that even. Okay. Well. Let's just see. Something. Just anything up here. I'm just... I'm searching. Okay, that was just a hallway. Maybe there, there must be something there, too. Okay. Oh! What's that? Give that to me. Waterproof flag. Is that the patch? Is that... That's the patch! Okay. Is there anything else up here? Uh, it doesn't appear that way? Yeah, okay, so that's the waterproof patch. Alright, well, I mean, I'm getting the things. I'm just, I'm now gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be a little bit, a little bit stuck, though. Because the edible food, I understand how to get that. I just need to get something for the wires that would allow me to, like, cross... Maybe I already have the thing. I might just, like, have to do the old classic method of just brute-forcing everything in my inventory until something works. I mean, when in doubt, you know. When in doubt, that's always a good option. I think the fish is probably gonna be for the cat. Yeah, I can't go over there, though. So it's just about doing something with these wires. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're ki- please tell me this is the one. It was here the whole I How did I miss this? Give me the fuse. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now now we're on track here. Now now we're working with portals here. Okay. It was it was right in the beginning the whole time. Alright, cool, 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 cool. This is the fuse. Put the fuse in the fuse box. And then we go in this building. There we cool. go. Now we're ready to go. All right. Okay. So there's gotta be. Well, there's socks in here. So that's what that is. I just. I. I just immediately knew that. Ooh, flyers. Okay. That's a. That's a thing we might be able to use to get past the thing. Okay. Grab the pliers. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. I think this is good. All right. So all we need is edible food, which we can get by getting past the those wires going into the water. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. Bump. So what if it's not there? Keep looking. I need to get to that server now. The cyberspace breach is unrelated. It is his signature. Yes, eight years later. Do your job or do I have to come down there myself? Unrelated. <laughs> Incompetent, every one of them. <laughs> What in the world was happening there? I've never seen- The man was standing on his chair yelling into the phone. That- Hoo-wee! That was a- that was a cutscene right there. Okay. Pliers. Surely. Surely. This- this can work on the wires. There we go. And then... The fish, right, on the cat. Because cats like fish. <laughs> Just yeeted that fish over there. 
And then we get the food. Hey, this lasagna looks good. That does it? I mean, I guess good is relative here. All right. That is all the things. Okay, so I think we can finally go back to the shelter now. All right, man, that was just a lot of stuff. It just requires, like, I guess you really just have to scan the screen. I mean, that should be self-explanatory. Point and click. You need to look at everything. That's that's the whole gist of it, right? A successful day. I'm pleased to report that I'm at 34% charge. Oh, no! Huh? Well, we just got scavenged. The police. They must have clocked us last night. Gina, I do not think they were here to arrest us for loitering. I still don't get why they raided our shelter. According to my calculations, there is an 87% chance that the intruders searched for an object they were unable to find. We have to find out what happened. I believe if we look around the rooftop, we may find clues. Alright, so that, I believe, is going to be our just first impressions of Encodia. It's, it's really, to be fair, it's kind of hard for me to judge this because, like, I'm not, as I said, not very good at point-click adventures. But the atmosphere, I sort of like. However, a couple, couple of downsides, like I said, that first NPC, the voice acting, really kind of threw me for a loop. And I didn't catch any of that here, but when I was going to talk to some of like the NPCs, like like off camera, when I was getting a feel for this, I like to play games a little bit before I actually like start the uh, the video on them, just you know, just so I have an idea of what I'm getting into. There was a lot of just like seemingly like random, just pop culture references, just like kind of thrown in your face. Like there was literally like a joke like about Darude Sandstorm, and I was just like that. Why? It just... There's some weird stuff like that that kind of, like, took me out of the atmosphere a bit. Because you can do something... Like, you could do a game like this, and it's... The point is, it's supposed to be immersive. Now, obviously, when you're trying to do puzzles, you're thinking about other things. But the whole point is immersion, so they kind of have some, like, weird referential things in here that aren't, like, really funny or feel like they fit, which I'm unsure about. Um, but that being said, I, I like the music, I like the atmosphere. The graphics are like, okay, they're alright. I mean, this is made in Unity, so it is, things do tend to look certain ways based on engine. But all that being said, I think this is a pretty cool game. And definitely, like, it does give you a bit of help for people that are, you know, like myself, uh, more not used to the point-and-click genre. Uh, all that said, if you are interested in this game, it is on Steam and GOG. Uh, the price is $25, though, there is a sale at the time of this where it is $20. I don't know if I'll actually, uh, be able to put this out before the sale is over, but I have, needlessly, I have seen it on sale for $20. But anyhow, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye